Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to do Clash of Clans Strategy Part 19. And today I'm going to do a little bit review on um, the basis of my fellow clansmen and uh, my Facebook friends and my Facebook group as well. So basically what I'm going to do now is to analyze their base and see what is their strength and weaknesses and how I'm going to approach attacking their base if I am their opponent. If I'm the enemy, I will attack the town hall from the right side and use the archer to attack the archer tower as well. And uh, I see that some waste walls in the center part, which I can actually use it to wall up the motor tower. The motor tower is much more vulnerable to barbarians' uh, rush, and I can move some buildings to cover up the archer tower as well. The town hall moves to the center. As for this particular village, the town hall is out, but I believe it's for farming purposes to get shoe. Uh, I see the number of of uh, buildings is outside the base. Opponent can easily get overall 50% damage and the town hall uh, being destroyed you get two stars uh, so you lose a lot more trophies in this base design. So uh, it's better to put all the buildings within the walls and uh, I, I believe the uh, air defense should be put in the center or near to the center and the wizard tower uh, outside because of their short range. The next village here you can see the spiking dogs is actually no longer workable so uh, the wall breakers will not be attracted to spiking dots anymore so you need to attach to the wall in order to work okay on the outside you can see the elixir collector and the gold mine is actually exposed uh, in the lazy gold mine uh, farming uh, method if you have not collected for a period of time all these are pretty exposed it's better to put within the walls itself and i hope the uh, gold storage and the elixir storage to put in the center as well will be much more easier to protect notice that you place some traps at the bottom because they are attractive but it's best if you can just focus on one side of the base as the weak spot and put the traps inside there will be more effective Okay, next village, I can see there's a huge amount of buildings that is outside the base, outside the wall, which makes it very vulnerable to 50% overall damage. Suggest so walling up your uh, mortar tower because the mortar tower are very susceptible to barbarian rush. And as you can see from the outside, you can actually use the archer to attack indirectly. So might as well uh, wall up your mortar towers instead. Okay, this next base is very similar to mine. The bottom side is a little bit too wide. I will suggest putting it a little bit tighter so that it's easier to place your traps more efficiently and more effectively. As for the side, you can see that when you attack on the left side, you actually go one bit round. As you can see, I like the buildings to be near to the towers that is being covered by a range and I do not like too many buildings that is exposed outside the wall because of the 50% overall damage uh, for one star and there's some wastage in walls. The air defense tower is exposed on the top center side. You should allocate some gold mine to cover the mortar at the center so that you will not be so exposed and on to the next village okay this particular village is pretty well designed because i like the fact that when you attack on the side you'll be uh, attracted to the right side instead of uh, attacking directly straight into the center uh, however the air defense is a little bit exposed i hope the air defense can put maybe at the center or near to the center especially when the archers which is the anti-air also uh, are out of commission because of upgrading uh, maybe you can exchange the wizard with the air defense so that the air defense can be a little bit more inside uh, in the center. Uh, I like the buildings of the exterior to be closer to the towers and again uh, try to move all the freebies building uh, near to the towers so that it will not be uh, you know one of the overall damaged uh, percentage for the archer to attack. Okay next village. This village is very uniquely designed, a lot of wall spikes. However, there's still quite a number of buildings that is exposed on the outside to contribute to the 50% overall damage. That means you definitely will lose the trophies if you put too much buildings outside the wall. If you must uh, put the buildings nearer to the uh, towers so that it can actually cover within the range. Uh, if I were to attack, I will definitely attack from the uh, bottom right side because uh, that is the, the you know, least resistance and uh, simply just uh, bring lots of uh, wall breakers and I can actually go in or I can just attack the air defense towers to gain access to the uh, dragons to attack from the sides as well. Well basically that's it for this Clash of Clans strategy part 19 and uh, please don't shoot me if I've said anything wrong because uh, I'm just saying what I feel 
about uh, individual basis. So I might be wrong, so do clarify and comment what you feel that what I've mentioned is right or wrong in the comment section below. And remember to like, subscribe and of course uh, follow me on my other videos on simonvideo.com. And if you want to see the rest of the Crash of Clan videos, you can go to simonvideo.com slash coc or go to the playlist in this channel, youtube.com slash simonday78. Right, so basically that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much. Oh, you're still here? Uh, okay, I'm going to show you some bonus content on uh, how an effective uh, traps at the bottom uh, actually helps out in defending the base. If you cluster all your bombs together into a big bomb and all the small bombs all clustered together, you can actually focus a lot of attack on all the troops that is uh, bunched together, uh, especially those level 3, level 4 troops. is actually very, very effective in killing them in a big mass. As you can see, multiple bombs that explode in sequence can actually kill quite a number of troops. Uh, here, unfortunately, the, the opponent actually deployed too much of the troops at a single part and uh, imagine the pain of all the wizards being destroyed in that sense and the inside the mortar towers actually helps out a little bit as well and the big bomb actually kills huge amount of troops and basically that's it how you uh, defend your base using the traps